Hey guys, it's been a while. So this here is uh, the Oris X570i Pro Wi-Fi motherboard from uh, Gigabyte. Uh, this here is an uh, ITX form factor, so extremely small and compact. Uh, this board supports uh, the PCI 4.0, which is uh, the latest uh, platform. Apparently, it's pretty fast. It also supports uh, the 3000 uh, desktop series processors. I've ordered a uh, 3900X. I've actually been waiting for it uh, to arrive since quite a while, but uh, anyways. Uh, let's take a look inside the box. It's just uh, the bill. Let's get it out of the way. Here is uh, the motherboard. Let's keep it aside for just a second. But right, you have the user manual. This is uh, the thermal pad for your M.2 drives. This here is an RGB extension, I believe. Yep, it is. This is your Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, this motherboard supports uh, Intel Wi-Fi 6, so that's uh, pretty good. I believe what's left in the box is the regular disk and uh, a SATA wire, SATA connector, and yep, or stickers. Let's put this back in the box. Take a look at the actual motherboard. I'll just uh, get rid of the box. So here's the motherboard in all its glory. All right, so. On the top left you have your 8 pin power adapter, I believe these are solid pins all throughout the board. This here is uh, the 12 pin connector. Besides that you have your fan header. Uh, the RAM slots of course, it's a dual channel. Your AM4 socket. Over here you have uh, the front IO connectors, I believe it's multicolored. Uh, this should be the speaker. Uh, 4 SATA headers, USB 3.0, USB 3.1. This I believe is your regular RGB connector and back here, right there, that's your ARGB header, so that's good. This is another fan connector right over here, so I believe there are two, one top and the bottom. And there is one right over here which is being used by this fan right now and this should again be your friend audio connectors, this one right here. So below this is uh, the M.2 drive, yep, it's M.2 port over there. So this fan will keep the chipset and uh, the ability to drive cool as well. Uh, there is another another slot I believe yeah, at the back. So you have two M.2 uh, connectors for this one. Around here, I'm not sure if it's visible but these are your, uh, I believe these are ARGB lights, LEDs at the back. It supports uh, the Fusion 2.0. And uh, coming to the back, rather the I.O. Um, couple of HDMI display ports, USB 3.0, USB, oh there's a BIOS uh, flashback over here as well, the stick, I mean the USB port along with uh, the button, so that's good. I think they call it, uh, sorry this is the Q flash, right there. USB type C, uh, 3.1, your LAN connections, the Wi-Fi 6 and the audio connectors. This has uh, the Nishikon capacitors and yep this also comes with an attached IO plate and it's got a back plate as well. So with this build uh, I'll also be using a Trident Z Neo RAM stick, this is 16 gigs of RAM. I had to get this imported because it's not available right now and this supports Ryzen uh, itself and this is uh, your high speed. 3600 megahertz RAM kit. I'll unbox this separately. I'll also be using a crucial P1 M.2 SSD 
these are not as fast as uh, the Samsung ones but still uh, pretty good this will be a one terabyte so let's see how this goes I have just started uh, collecting the parts for the ITX build the next would be to get an SFX power supply and perhaps a good case to go with it so well thank you so much for watching and have a nice day